99% of runners are obsessed with VO2 max and it's destroying their race times. Here's when it actually matters. Most runners think a high VO2 max automatically means faster race times. But here's the truth. Most aerobic based events occur well below your VO2 max. A marathon is often only 75 to 85% or less of your VO2 max. And even events like half marathons, high rocks, and 10Ks are far below it. Your VO2 max does set the ceiling for your aerobic performance. So all these events like 10Ks, half marathons, high rocks, and marathons do have to occur below it. Most new runners don't need to worry about that. And they have plenty of room below that VO2 max ceiling to move their threshold pace and race pace up. VO2 max typically limits performance when an individual has got through tons of aerobic training and their race pace and threshold are very close to that vo2 max ceiling most owners don't have to worry about this but in this case we do first have to raise the vo2 max ceiling up and then raise threshold and race pace up after that vo2 max training can still be an important stimulus for a lot of runners and here's when it actually matters you want to do it early in your training cycle before you get to your race specific training since vo2 max work isn't too specific for all these aerobic events you can still help raise the roof on that vo2 max so then you have plenty of room to move your race pace up during that specific phase closer to the race then focus on threshold and then a race specific block because as you get close to your race you want to be very specific to your race demands if you do want to improve your vo2 max the most important factor is consistent training over time and sprinkle in two vo2 max sessions a week Research shows the best way to do this is with 30 second to 8 minute intervals where we're working at at least 90% of our max or more with equal work to rest ratios. These VO2 max sessions come with a lot of fatigue so you just want to make sure you have plenty of easy running days or recovery days in between before your next VO2 max session. Don't be fooled by the hype. VO2 max is just one metric. There's a lot that goes into high performance in running.